Today I want to go over one of my favorite monster encounters. In 1978, the USS Stein, a Navy ship, was attacked by something extremely large while sailing on the Pacific Ocean. While they were patrolling the waters, the captain was told that the sonar system was no longer working. Now this was a huge problem as one of their main jobs was to look for enemy submarines. This was the height of the Cold War. So the captain decided that they have to go back to port to see what was going on with the sonar system. And after they docked, engineers took a look and what they saw shocked them. The rubber on the outside of the sonar system was shredded with large tears. It looked like they were attacked by a bunch of crocodiles. But they soon realized that this was from one large, very powerful creature. And this creature has come to be known as a Stein monster. Now after analyzing all the evidence, experts believed that this could have been a giant squid that attacked the boat. And if this was a giant squid, it must have been about 150 feet long, which is enormous. Now at this time in the 70s, no one had ever seen or captured on camera a giant squid. Throughout the centuries, fishermen and sailors have claimed to see monsters swimming right next to their boats. Some claimed that they could see huge eyes just looking at them from the water. And whatever this was, was bigger than the boat they were on, scaring the crap out of them. And these sightings created the legendary monster the Kraken. But just like Bigfoot sightings today, back then most scientists didn't believe that these creatures actually existed. They thought drunk sailors were just making up stories or seeing things in the water. But one day a giant squid's body washed up on a beach confirming once and for all what these fishermen and sailors have been seeing for centuries. But it's still a mystery what attacked the USS Stein, as the largest giant squid ever found from their dead bodies washing up on beaches has only been about 50 feet long. And according to some experts, they believe that 50 feet is how large a giant squid can grow, which is still large, but there could be another monster three times the size of a giant squid roaming the depths of our oceans, as whatever attacked the USS Stein was much bigger, and it did try to attack a navy ship that was longer than 400 feet. I mean, this thing must have been huge. Now, I would like to point out that there's also another large squid called the Colossal Squid. In one of my previous videos, I assumed that the giant squid and the colossal squid were the same creature, but they're not. And I believe, still to this very day, the colossal squid has never been caught on camera. The colossal squid is much bigger than the giant squid. The giant squid is longer when its tentacles are stretched out, but the colossal squid is much bigger in girth and probably more terrifying to witness face to face. Experts believe that the giant squid live in the waters near Antarctica, and sightings of it is extremely rare. So, in theory, there could be another bigger monster out there. Maybe the Kraken does exist. There is another strange mystery called the Bloop, which I'm sure most of you have already heard about. But for those that haven't, I'll cover it real fast, as it is an awesome mystery. In 1997, the NOA, a group of scientists, captured the sound of what they believed to be an enormous animal living in the depths of the ocean. This sound was so loud that it could be heard from 3,000 miles away. I mean, that's insane. And at the time, they believed that this noise must have come from some unknown creature. Over the years, there have been a lot of speculation over what caused this mysterious noise. Today, some think it was a result of ice caving into the ocean, and they might be right. But still to this day, 23 years later, some experts disagree. And because the ocean is just that deep, it could be possible for a creature that big to make that noise frequently but we were only able to record it once back in 1997. While I was making this video, I was looking for other interesting sea monster stories, and I stumbled upon a creature from Japanese folklore that kind of looks like a giant squid. This mysterious creature with its huge eyes is called a sea monk. Legend states that the sea monk could rise 10 feet out of the water and sink whole ships. The Japanese, they were terrified of them. And it would only be seen in attack ships when the water was calm. When it was stormy, it was nowhere to be seen. So when sailing, sometimes these ancient sailors would rather deal with the storm than the monster. But some other legend states that when fishermen would see this creature, they knew a large storm was headed their way. So the fishermen and sailors would go back to port as fast as they could, making cryptozoologists believe that the sea monk is probably two different creatures. But there is an extremely rare fish called the oarfish. The oarfish lives very deep down in the ocean, but if you see one swimming on the surface of the water or recently washed up on shore, then it's a really good sign that an earthquake and a tsunami is coming. So these ancient legends do seem to come from some sort of truth, but today we can only guess what the sea monk is. 
Maybe it's a massive squid that has gone extinct or has yet to be discovered by science. There are still so many mysteries lurking in the depths of the ocean, just waiting to be discovered. Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.